am always listening. My name is Joel Sharpton. I'm a podcast consultant and editor, and I have been since 2016. I started in small market radio in 2004 as a broadcast host and producer. I actually still co-host the pregame tailgate show for my local university football team. I've edited and produced thousands of podcast episodes for clients and hundreds for myself. You're watching or listening to the fourth version of Always Listening. Not counting this podcast and its many iterations, I've launched six other personal shows. I've said a lot of things about a lot of things in a lot of places. But I've spent the last three years without a real outlet. I've got an ongoing podcast called Articulate Coven, which focuses on the works of Anne Rice and the many adaptations of those works, including the recently launched Interview with a Vampire and Mayfair Witches TV series on AMC. Feel free to check that show out. But that show and all of its many episodes are not really about me. They're not about my thoughts, and they're definitely not about my thoughts on podcasting or content creation in general. But I've got a hankering for that again. I've got things to say, and I know exactly where and how to say them. We are going to have some interviews on this show. If you look in the feed, actually, you'll find three pre-existing interviews with Cameron Riley, Tyler Mahan Co., and Jay Soderberg. Each of them pioneers in their own right, podcasting pros, And I was lucky enough to speak with them each in a previous iteration of this show. We're definitely going to do more of that. But sometimes it's going to be like this. Me telling you my thoughts and feelings about content creation and the life I'm getting to lead because of it. I was living in New Orleans in 2008 and I had about a 90 minute commute both ways across the city every day. I was listening to a ton of podcasts, starting out with sports podcasts, mostly produced and edited by Jay Soderberg, the aforementioned Pod Vader. I even co-hosted a version of this show with him eventually. After sports podcasts, I found comedy shows, starting with Jordan Jesse Go from the Max Fun Network. Man, that would come around eventually too. And then, well, Everything, including especially some tech shows, which eventually helped me get the guts to go out on my own. If you're interested, by the way, in my brief version of the history of podcasting, there are a couple of videos linked in the show notes of this episode where I talk about that exact subject, as well as my current definition for what a podcast is in this current media landscape. Podcasting is an incredibly powerful medium because it's an opt-in medium. No one stumbles across your content. No one's forced to listen to your podcast in the lobby of a doctor's office or a mechanic shop. They choose you. And if they subscribe or follow, as Spotify and Apple Podcasts would prefer us call it these days, if they follow your show, the relationship that builds over time, at least one way for the listener, is really, really deep. Podcast listeners order merchandise, they travel to live events, they pay for services, they pay for coaching, they subscribe to clothing boxes, they buy mattresses and dog boxes and meal prep kits, all because they fell in love with a podcast and the host of that podcast. My own business was built in a large part on the relationships and the reputation that I built through producing my own shows. And at least a few of my current clients, people like Mark Bologna with the Beyond Bourbon Street Show, Jonathan Oakes with Trivial Warfare, and Ray Wood with Top Agents Playbook Podcast, started working with me because I met him way back in the day at a podcast conference in those early years. One of the things that has made a real difference in my life over the last couple of years is self-talk. This is something that I've been doing for at least two or three years, but I sort of had deluded myself into thinking it was something else. I don't know why I was so resistant to this concept, but in the last, I'd say six to nine months, I finally bought in fully. In the last week or two, one of the things that has occurred to me is even in those years before I even knew what self-talk was, and definitely before I bought into it as a concept that would give me benefit, I was already doing it through podcasting. I've worked out personal issues, business issues, broken down pop culture criticism and understanding of of 
concepts and ideas, beliefs that were foreign to me, or maybe even abhorrent when they were first presented. I've grown as a human being, as a businessman, as a dad, as a partner, all because of the podcasts that I've hosted or co-hosted. I've talked it out. Maybe you don't need therapy via podcasts. And certainly, it might not have been the most efficient or direct route for me either. But it's absolutely worked. Ask anyone who knew me in 2013 and knows me today. I'm still Joel. In fact, an argument can be made that I'm more me today than ever before. But I'm an activated and active version of me. One that is more in charge of my feelings and finances and friendships and functions than ever before. Podcasting made me a better man and certainly a better businessman. My first show was more than anything an excuse to talk regularly with a good friend. For this show, it's about sharing my own joy in creation and learning from those who have found that same joy themselves. We are going to talk about stats and software, microphones and media hosts, but mostly we're going to talk about podcasts, why we love them, what they've done for us, and what we've done through them. If that sounds up your alley, then follow the show if you would like to in Apple Podcasts or Spotify or whatever other podcast app you're using. Or you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. See, I can use all the nomenclature properly here, and I'll teach you how to do it too. It's going to be a lot more fun if you folks are watching and listening along as I do this, but I'm probably going to do it even if I'm just talking to myself. Remember, I am Joel Sharpton, and I am always listening. For help on your podcast, visit propodcastingservices.com. Our theme song is Enough from Bethany Rayburn.